Raven, no. All right, Raven gets the very first piece. So what? No. So what? Good girl. There you go. Good girl. So. I'm going to edit this video so that it looks like I didn't give Raven any for TikTok. And uh, I'm going to guess that a lot of people are going to be upset that I didn't give Raven any. So, you guys, my supporters on YouTube, is watching this video and know that I gave Raven the very first piece. <laughs> she also gets the very second piece. So what? Good girl. I have some seaweed salt. This salt has naturally occurring MSG in it. And so it's gonna taste savory. And this cutting board that I have is actually a block of Himalayan pink salt anyways. So it's gonna be somewhat salty. But it's actually really good. It's really nice. So let's give it a try here. Here's the buffalo. This is actually bison though. Um, I think the jerky is also 
bison, but people use buffalo and bison interchangeably, but they are two different animals. Mm. Oh man, that is so good. Perfectly seasoned. All I need is salt. That's all I need. Mm. Very good. Very, very good. All right. This piece, I'm going to cook it for a little bit longer. Stay, Raven. Come here. Okay, over here. All right, go on. Good girl. There you go. I've got some aromatic leaves here. And usually, I just take one leaf, like one big leaf like this. Take all the smaller leaves, just put it like that. And the piece of meat in the middle, wrap it up. And uh, just eat it like this. Oh man. <laughs> this is amazing. Mm hmm. Mm, perfect. That's like a lettuce wrap. <laughs> Just like that. Let me get close up on all of this. So here's the leaf that's purple and green. We got the bison meat there. And you just wrap it up like this. And just eat the whole thing. The whole thing in a few bites. Mmm. So good. Here you go, Raven. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, I bought the bison meat because I was inspired by the jerky from uh, the week before. Because mm. it's so good. Mm-hmm. Like the funny thing about this packaging <clears throat> is it says buffalo jerky, buffalo jerky, but it's a image of a bison. Um, and so yeah, bison and buffalo are usually used interchangeably, but they are like two different animals. Um, this image right here on the packaging is of a bison, not a buffalo. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, it was really good. So because of this, I really want to buy like my like crocodile and alligator meat that is fresh. Same with all the other meats. So like I would like to have like wild boar. I'd like to try elk someday, you know, like just fresh meat, not like beef jerky or, or not like jerky, but uh, instead like fresh. Mm. Okay. All right. There's one piece left. I'm gonna cut a small piece for Raven. There you go. Just like that. And I'm gonna take the rest. Wrap it up. Hmm. So good. So what? So what? So what? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. Good girl. You're warm sitting right next to the fire, huh? Okay. 
<clears throat> All right, let's go inside. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right. This is my last can of nectar. It's a hard seltzer. This is the lychee one. I would like to try the new flavor too. It'd be cool. I think it was like passion fruit, passion fruit guava or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Ah. Yeah, this is really good. <laughs> yeah, perfect after like a bison steak like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting down right now and I'm carrying and it's actually comfortable. I have my gun belt on and I have my outside waistband holster right here see there you go this though is my standard p365x macro um, the grip module is the standard grip module i actually have a different grip grip module that I've been using and I like it a whole lot better. It's called the it's called the Icarus Precision ACE like grip module or something like that. Um, and uh, it just feels so much better. But but the grip is a lot shorter and it's meant to hold the 12 round uh, magazines. But I can fit the 17 round magazines in it, but it just sticks out and it looks weird. Uh, I'm trying to get the X macro like grip from uh, Icarus, but uh, it's been challenging <laughs> getting on their like pre-order list. <laughs> but yeah, I'm telling you this because like I I've started to like carry my firearm more often, and I want to be comfortable wearing it um, and moving around in it. Um, so this entire video, I've had it on. I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but I didn't. Like I didn't notice it. Like I had it on, but I didn't notice it, which is great. I think that's the best thing that you need to be able to do is when you're carrying that it's comfortable, that you don't even know that it's there, you know? And so if you don't know where that, that it's there, other people don't know. And so I think that's a really cool thing about concealed carry. But yeah, like I'm sitting down, you know, I need to lose some weight, you know, I've gotten fat. <laughs> but uh, I mean, even with this, you know, even with my weight now, like it feels comfortable sitting down with my my uh, my gun on my side like this, you know, and then I can walk around and do things and I feel fine. And I'll do some like shooting content of ed eventually. Um, a week ago. Oh, there you go. It's peeling now. Yeah, a week or two ago, I uh, I burnt my pinky and my my pinky. And uh, it blistered up and it got really bad. Um, but it's since like dried up. So it's all dry right now and I have dead skin that's peeling off right now. And the healed skin is behind it. Oh, look at that. See? I'm picking at it right now. It's satisfying. <laughs> I shouldn't pick at it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's healing. And so I, I should be able to go to the range now. Because I was scared that like... It would get infected if it popped or something like that, you know, if I was shooting. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to get some footage of me just shooting. Maybe I can hit up Jake. Uh, voices of Jake. Um, maybe I can go on his property and we can do some shooting. Who knows? Or we can just work on our bushcraft camp. I'd prefer to do that, actually. I prefer to just go to his his property to do a bushcraft camp. He has a lot of property and we can, we can do some shooting uh, if he... He'd like, um, but yeah, I'll hit him up or something. I'm gonna open up comments again on TikTok for a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of you noticed or not, but I turned off comments uh, on all of my videos on TikTok. And it's mostly because of one individual, actually. It's not all of the singular hate that I'm getting from individual people. It's just a singular person that has been kind of 
harassing me for the past year. Like for a good, like 12 months now, there's a singular person that has been harassing me. Um, and they would make a brand new account, like every time I block them. And I'm at the point where I'm not mad anymore. It's just kind of pathetic because like, because like I am running in this person's head, like rent free, like 24 seven almost. That's what it seems like to me because the process that they have to go through to create a new account on TikTok to then type in my name to then go to a video and then to type out a like a comment or something like that like the amount of work that they have to put into all of this is like ridiculous like this person is like my number one fan they're like they're they're a hater they hate me but for some reason they they're putting in more effort time and energy in this than my best like supporter so like some of my best supporters on youtube on tiktok they follow me everywhere they they comment on all my videos and stuff like that i have people like that that are nice you know but this person they hate me and but 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 like they put in so much more effort into hating me than the people that love me the most <laughs> which is so ridiculous but it's just kind of gone exhausting to see this person all the time and seeing other people just comment and stuff too like good or bad like i've just kind of gone to the point where i'm exhausted of just reading comments all the time and people say don't read comments but that's challenging for me like i feel like i am addicted to it and so that's why i turned it off uh, I'm going to turn them on for a, uh, for a video for a couple of days and then I'm going to turn everything off again. But that's just going to be on TikTok, uh, on YouTube and uh, Instagram and Facebook. I'll keep them on because I usually don't read them as much anyways. But if anything, like most of the comments on all my other platforms are fine. Like the hate comments aren't that bad there, you know, or... Or whatever I, I don't care really on the other platforms but for some reason TikTok just just like hits a certain trigger on me like the people that are there that say certain things I don't know I know I'm a content creator and I have to deal with this and this is how I'm dealing with it um, and so yeah I'm gonna be turning off comments to kind of keep me away from TikTok from browsing you know from swiping and watching videos and from wasting my time that I don't want to waste anyways and so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna post the video keep comments open for a little bit and then i'm gonna turn everything off again yeah for a while and then i'm gonna just try to continue posting like i usual usually do but the comments is just gonna be off they're gonna be on everywhere else though so like whoever this person is the funny thing is if you are watching the funny thing is people fail to recognize that TikTok has all of your information like you if you don't read like the the privacy policy you wouldn't know this but i have um so like TikTok records all of your phone data so like what type of phone you have like the serial numbers and every single detail about your phone TikTok has you gave them permission to see all of that. Um, you also have given TikTok all of the like uh, ability to track you off of the app. So like whatever you search, whatever you do off app, TikTok has like uh, has the ability to follow and trace all of that too. Um, so like I'm I'm okay with that. I don't care, you know. Like I know about all of that. I read the privacy policy. I know that what I'm giving up. But uh, the interesting thing is, this person thinks they're anonymous by creating new accounts every time. But the thing is, every time they create an account, I've collected their data. I've like sent like their name and all of that to TikTok, and TikTok has the ability to trace them back. They have the IP address. I can subpoena all of this with a lawyer if I wanted to, um, and I might even. So I can subpoena like uh, their IP address, get to their internet provider, figure out who they are, and then and then get their address and get their name and get where they actually live and then sue them. 
And so, like, that's an option, you know, that's open. It's in the air right now. Um, I am talking to a lawyer about it. Um, and they're doing all of this for free because they know who I am and they want to help. Um, and so I appreciate your help. But I don't know if I really want to go and pursue this. But if I do, <laughs> I'm going to, like, go as far as I can possibly go. Because this person is, like, literally harassing me to the point where, like, they are posting a comment maybe every day, every couple of days, every week or so of something stupid that just gets under my skin. And I block them every time and they just make a new account. The sad thing is that TikTok only allows you to have a certain amount of accounts on one phone. So like, I think it was like seven or something like that, that you can have on one phone that you can switch between. The thing is they're, they've made like over 30, 40, 50 accounts probably. And uh, the thing is they would have to like log out of them and then create a new account. But in order to create a new account, they would need a new email. And so they would go to like Google or something and create a new email, a username and password. And then they would have to go to TikTok, then put in all of that information, create the, the, the TikTok page, type in my name every time to go to my account and then click on a video, click on like the comment section and then type in like uh, some stupid comment just to get blocked and rinse and repeat and this has been happening for a year and so yeah it's uh been interesting so like that's not my main concern though like that's just something i'm just sharing this is just a vlog um but uh yeah i have started cleaning more in the shed uh i'm filming all of it um i'm just not doing like daily updates i might We'll, we'll see but yeah i've been cleaning out the shed things are good aside from like all the negative stuff that i've been saying like things have been good like uh raven's doing well my family is doing well uh, i'm doing well um i've started uh taking like supplements and stuff like that like magnesium supplements and uh fish oil supplements along with like mushroom extract and stuff like that and I've been feeling fantastic. I feel motivated. I feel like I want to do stuff. And uh, I haven't, like my, my bedroom, it has been the cleanest and organized for the longest time in all of my life. Like I've, so like whenever I like clean my room, it usually stays clean for only a couple of days to maybe a max, like a week or something. And then it'll go back to the usual mess. Um, for some reason, after taking like the magnesium supplements, the, the fish oils and like the mushroom extracts, for some reason, something like changed in me where like I am more conscious about like my surroundings and I'm like always, I feel like I'm OCD where I, I can't leave a thing like unattended or can't leave like trash around. Like I would always pick it up and throw it away or put things where they belong. Like my keys and stuff, when I come home, I like hang it up now. And it's not something that, that I told myself that I was gonna do. It just suddenly happened. All of this suddenly happened. And uh, I like make my bed. I put everything where they're supposed to be. And this has been going on for a month and a half now. And normally, like it would not last this long, which is really crazy. And uh, yeah, I made this whole ridiculous like um, snow maze for Raven and Roscoe. Uh, Roscoe is my sister's dog. Um, and uh, he comes over once in a while, but yeah, like, <laughs> it's a huge maze in my yard next to like the park that's attached to my yard and so I have like a whole ton of like field to like play around with but I made a huge sort of maze for Raven to run around in and it's been really cool. I am going to be cleaning more out in the shed and once everything is like vacuumed up and stuff I'm going to bleach everything um, or throw in like vinegar or something or somehow disinfect it. I'll figure that out. And uh, once that's done, I will uh, start making videos in it again. So yeah, thanks for listening to me rant. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.